Uh, how's it going guys? Uh, so yeah, finally got my GoPro set up. Finally got everything uh, set up the way I wanted it to. Uh, hopefully this vlog and future vlogs will be of better quality. Uh, hopefully I don't have to use my phone anymore. Which, I didn't mind using my phone because uh, it had a simple editor. I could tag stuff together. I didn't have to edit at home, which I'll have to edit this at home. But hopefully... Uh, with this, I'll be able to get better vlogs for you. They may be previous day vlogs. So, you know, as up until now, you've seen vlogs that are uh, actually that day, with the exception of one day, which I missed because I'm, I'm lazy as shit. But uh, hopefully now you can, uh, you'll get better quality vlogs. It might just take a day to get them. I do want to talk about an article, and I'm sure most of you have heard about this. I think uh, it's probably gone viral. I think it's gone viral a couple times already. Uh, but it's, it, I think it went by viral back in July, August, something like that. I know this is only being brought up because of the election. But um, I want to talk about this Eric Bonner situation. Now, if you don't know what the art, what the viral article is, it was an art. This there was a post by a guy by the name of Eric Bonner. It was, uh, it was apparently a staff sergeant in the Air Force, and he was a, he was a canine handler. And um, part of his job, or part of the job that he had to do uh, while he was stationed in Turkey, yeah, Turkey. Uh, it's a military base in Turkey, but uh, apparently, and this is all. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna say that I I did go to Snopes and I did look this up, and obviously Snopes cannot uh, verify nor de-verify it because it, it all the information comes through a Facebook post. However, they did find out that the guy Eric Bonner was a staff sergeant in the military. He was stationed. In Turkey, and uh, he was a canine handler. And I believe also they searched through the government records and found that Hillary Clinton was in fact in Turkey at that time. Uh, now, obviously, this incident itself, none of that information proves that this incident is correct. Uh, but be that as it may, that's not the main point I want to talk about. But I do want to. I'm going to mention. Apparently, he was. He did detail on. Uh, the rooms that the import uh, the MV uh, MV very important VIPs. My gosh, he did detail on the rooms that the VIPs stayed in. Apparently, or he got put on that. Uh, he he states that he had to do this for George Bush, uh, President Obama, and um, apparently had to do detail on Hillary Clinton's room as well. Uh, now I don't know or room or room or I think I believe maybe the plane as well or the the plane they left in um, Now obviously all we know is from the article and if you want to look up the article yourself You can you can just look up Eric to be honest you can look up Eric Bonner at B-O-N-N-E-R and uh, You can you'll find the article you'll find the Snopes article about it You'll find a lot of stuff about it the main issue with this article isn't about what happened with Hillary Clinton which uh Incidentally, let me go ahead and explain this. Apparently, while he was detailing Hillary's room, um, either the dog got close to the detail dog got close to her or something, and she straight up said, "Get that dog, get that effing dog away from me." And I think she, according to the article, she turned and. Uh, ripped into her secret service protective detail or whatever and uh, chewed them out and that's how the whole shindig went down now he posted this article I believe it said July 28th of this year um, now why he waited so long to do it I'm not really sure Prob it may have something to do with uh, maybe he was still in service and he's not anymore I'm not sure uh, this incident happened apparently uh, this, this incident allegedly happened back in 2009 um, so that would have been you know eight seven years ago math terrible he may not be he may not be in service anymore he may to want to, he may have wanted to wait till it and of course you know with the election coming out anybody who's got a story about any of the candidates are gonna say something now 
Um, which keep in mind, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't support either Trump or Hillary. I'm just making that clear right now. Um, but well, apparently, he posted about this incident, and ever since then, of course, that would make this three months ago. Uh, ever since then, he has gotten nothing but hate comments and messages from Hillary supporters, which can be, which is to be expected. Uh, what I don't really, what I don't really get, and I guess this brings to me, this brings to me in my main point, he's getting a lot of attention apparently now, a lot of shares now, because he's saying that, you know, Hillary supporters are just as bad as Trump supporters just because of all this, and you see, um, of course, Trump supporters do get a lot of flack. And, um, but here's the thing. Number one, it, it doesn't matter what supporter you are. It doesn't matter who you support. You're going to have, you're going to have bad supporters. It's like any sports team. You're going to have good fans. You're going to have bad fans. You're going to have that one fan that, that loses humbly and he may be mad, but he's not going to take it out on another fan. Then you have another fan that's going to take a crowbar to the next the opposing first to opposing team fanny finds. Um, but what I want to hammer home is be careful what you post on the internet. Um, and I've been the victim of this before, even on a much smaller scale. But it's kind of why it, it's kind of why I'm always very hesitant of what to put on my my vlog here. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't put on here. There's a lot of uh, a lot of moments I don't put. It's why I don't put my job on here. It's when I'm, you know, I, I'm at a break when I make these vlogs. If I'm at work and if I'm not, if I don't get a break, I can't make these vlogs till I get home. Um, but uh, you, you really need to be careful. Number one, you need to be careful what you put on the internet. Just period. Any kids watching out there, this is very important. What you put on the internet is going to stay there. Nine times out of ten, whether you want it to or not, because if somebody sees it and thinks it's interesting, they're gonna save it. Uh, and if, gosh bless, I can't tell you how many times uh, I've heard of people not getting hired because of something they put on the internet. Um, and I have to, I have to check myself on this, especially Facebook. Facebook is the absolute worst place to vent your. It, it was made for a place to connect and for you to share your share your day. It's become a place where people vent their problems, and they vent their what they've gone through, and in a way, it's okay. However, you, there's so many things you don't need to put on there. I mean, if you're a, you know, if, especially if you're underage. Gosh, I can't tell you how many people I know of who have gotten in trouble for underage drinking because they posted a video online or a video or a picture online with them holding some kind of alcoholic beverage. And that's incriminating. You know, you can sit there and say that, no, it doesn't prove that somebody drank it. It doesn't prove that they're doing the action that they're pictured for. Um, unless you have a video, then that that, that shit's proven. Um, but it, you cannot get a job for that. I've seen people, I've heard of people getting fired from jobs because of a thing they post on the video. Uh, I've heard of people... Uh, uh, Gosh, what was I going to say? Lost my train of thought here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've heard of people not getting jobs because of what they post on the internet. I know for a fact an employer that uh, has told me before that they check Facebook posts for an employee. They check videos. They check photos on Facebook. They check status updates, posts, anything they share. So I have to be very careful about what I post on the internet. And like I said, that's why I'm. That's why when I make these videos, if I'm at work, it's because it's a day where I have a standstill and I have a break where I can make these videos. Uh, which is why a lot of my videos are scattered. Uh, but you know, if you're gonna post something this controversial, you kind of need to be prepared for that backlash. It's like if I were to come on here and you know say something bad about. <coughs> Say something bad about Trump or Hillary. You can damn well expect I'm going to get some hate comments for it. But if you know if that's what I want, then that's what I'm going to get. But the problem is nowadays, people on the internet are ruthless 
and they are unforgiving. Because the internet is so, even if you have your name on there, you're very, you're still very untouchable and anonymous in a certain way. You know, you, you just gotta be careful, guys.